captar también la perspectiva femenina. The short answer is very difficult. <laughs> I prefer the large <laughs> But uh, but I guess what it was was that uh, I it, it was it, it was a very long process to write, and I I'm very whether it's uh, females or men, old people, dogs, aliens, it doesn't matter. Like I I, I really want to make films that are uh, kind of three dimensional, full body, real flesh and blood people as opposed to kind of caricatures or uh, archetypes or just very easily kind of just easily molded kind of characters which you see a lot in films. So I really want to make kind of very complex people. And so original so I, I, I approached it from that point of view, which is like I just instead of think of thinking of them as male or female, like let's just start with them as human beings and common emotions that whether you're a male or a female you can understand. But from there, obviously, it's a very specific female tale, so I needed uh, a lot of help, and uh, I, I, my co-writer was is a, is a female, so she helped me as well. But I also worked a lot with the actors themselves to make sure that they were bringing um, something real and, and bringing their personal experiences to the table as well. That was very important. And I'm not one of those directors or writers that demand that they dot every eye across the country. You know, I, I, I like to collaborate and just kind of workshop the scenes and use a lot of conversation and to kind of really find who these characters are as human beings before they're uh, kind of filled with characters. So I, I just approach it from that and I just put a lot of trust in the actors and hopefully what they translated translates in the audience as well as something uh, a little bit more fully Sorry, no, it's okay. Sorry for you. <laughs> you bueno, you more or less. Uh, so, but, uh, uh, fue un largo proceso para escribir el guión, ¿no? Pero eh, que él quiere hacer películas eh, aparte, realmente sobre personas, o sea, que, 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 que miren bien, eh, descortiquen bien las personas, ¿no? Y que muestren las personas como seres complejas, ¿no? Entonces, da igual que sea sobre. Eh, da igual que sea sobre personas, perros, mujeres, hombres, pero la verdad lo que quiere él es eh, que se hable bien, eh, profundamente eh, sobre el carácter de los personajes. ¿no? Eh, entonces, eh, pero en este caso, evidentemente, es, es una historia de, de, de femenina o de mujeres. ¿no? Eh, entonces, trabajó mucho con los actores eh, que traían sus propias experiencias personales. Eh, él eh, no, no, es una, no es un director que exige que pongan las, los puntos sobre las IES y tal, sino que les gusta, eh, le gusta a él improvisar eh, eh, las escenas y los trabaja en workshops. Eh, eh, entonces se fió de los actores.
by far the most interesting. Yeah, I was very lucky to find it. Um, pues fue, para contestar a tu pregunta, fue un, eh, un difícil proceso. De hecho, tiene la sensación de que miró por todo el país, ¿no? Eh, porque el, el problema es que es un, un papel es un es silencioso, entonces la actriz tiene que actuar eh, en buena medida en, en silencio. Entonces, eh, pero cuando apareció ella, eh, vio de, de inmediato que tenía una energía eh, y una presencia especial, Special Energy and Presence. Eh, eh, aunque es pequeña, es una mujer pequeña, eh, y apareció a través de un casting eh, abierto, también tenía, entonces apareció ella, y está muy agradecido, muy grateful, que apareció esta chica en ese momento. El tema de las adopciones ilegales es tan controvertido como tabú. ¿Cuál es tu opinión al respecto? Uh, yes, the uh, subject of uh, Adoption, illegal uh, uh, adoptions is both uh, taboo and uh, complex. The issue is compromising. Now, complex but also taboo. So, what's your opinion on the subject? Oh. <laughs> well, I think it's. Um, I, you know, for me, the idea of adoption, I think, is a is, is a wonderful thing to be able to adopt children. But I think obviously, uh, it still takes place in Korea, but I don't think it's just in Korea. It's, you know, it's like all over the world, this idea of kind of the shame of, of adopting is uh, very strong in some cultures. And, uh, but at the same time, having to have children is so strong as well. So I think it's a very sad situation that people have to kind of resort to these um, to these kind of have to resort to these kind of methods to be able to to just pretend to it's it's, it's a, you know in, in the end it's just pretending and you know when I was researching this film I met uh, a person that was the exact same age as me he was in Korea he was a, a Korean American and he had just and he had come to Korea a few months earlier because he had just found that his father passed away and he had just found out that he had been secretly adopted he had been adopted. Director, who's a bit of a, a reference for you, in a sense? Or? As, a, as a director? Yeah. 
Um, for me, um, uh, the Japanese director Kori. And this is and another Japanese director actually, which is uh, Shori Nomura as a director. Shori Nomura also Japanese. So they they make very different kinds of movies, but I, I think we can maybe see a little influences of, of both in my, in my film. And uh, so, like in a strange way, more than Korean films, I think I've been influenced more by Japanese movies. <laughs> so, and I think maybe the film has a little bit of that as well. I think it, it even though it's a very Korean film, it, maybe it, it feels a little bit different than maybe other Korean movies. And, uh, I think that was intentional because, you know, obviously, uh, I'm a Canadian, I'm a Korean Canadian, and I thought I was going to go over to Korea to make a film. I didn't want to just emulate, you know, other kind of Korean films. I wanted to bring something different to the table and just bring my own influences and my own sensibilities. And hopefully, that combination would be something uh, interesting. So, um, but I'm, you know, since I was a little kid, I was a huge cinephile, so I love movies. Bueno, pues hacen esos dos japoneses que nos estaban hablando al principio hacen películas muy distintas, pero verás sus influencias en sus películas, ¿no? Pero quizás está más influenciado por el cine japonés que el cine coreano. Él es un coreano canadiense, entonces aporta, pues, eh, y además un gran cinéfilo desde joven, entonces te aporta muchas influencias de, de muchos ámbitos. Eh, tenemos entendido que estudiaste en la Escuela de Cine de Nueva York, New York. Eh, eh, hablando con el director americano, ¿por cuál te decantarías? Uh, she you the, uh, New York. No, no, it's not New York. It's, uh, it's actually the York University, which is in Canada. Ah, in yeah. Canada. The York University. Yeah. Yeah. The University of the York. The <laughs> York in, yeah. in, in Toronto. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, uh, in Canada. Yeah. Entonces, uh, a un director de influencia canadiense. So, do you have a Canadian? Is there still a Canadian director who stands out in your? Uh, uh, I don't. I'm not sure. Like uh, I think, um, more than one director, I like to watch a lot of films. I'm, you know, I, you know, this film is very, very kind of serious and heavy. But you know, I like, I like watching kind of goofy comedies, and I, I, you know, I, I like trying to. I, sometimes I like to watch things that are not like the films that I make, and I think that kind of influences me a little bit to maybe to help me realize that. You know, there's 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 other kind of filmmaking out there, and I think that kind of actually really, really invigorates me more than watching films that are more in tune to what I to what I do. Because I don't want to. Because I'm very big on I don't want to I don't want to copy. Like I'm like you know I I spend a lot of time on these films. I this film I you know I produced it, I wrote it, I edited it, I directed it. Like you know I did almost. <laughs> And because, and, and mainly it's because you know my budgets are small, so I can't hire other people to do it, so I have to do it all myself, unfortunately. But um, but because of that, you know, it takes me a really long time to make these films. And because of that, like, I, if I'm gonna make a movie, I want it to be different. And so I try not to watch films that are similar to mine. And I, if I watch films, I try to watch films that are really different to me, so that it maybe kind of helps me clear my head a little bit. And, uh, Sí, entonces no estoy seguro de alguna influencia particular canadiense, ¿no? Pero si hay alguna influencia es que sería más que uno, ¿no? Le gusta mirar formas de cine muy distintas, muy distintas. La suya es una película muy seria. Mm, pero a él le gusta, como he dicho, de todo tipo de películas y además comedias fáciles o casi ¿eh? eh, Porque no quiere copiar. ¿eh? Eh, tuvo que pasar, tiene que pasar mucho tiempo haciendo sus películas porque tiene presupuestos bajos. Eh, y eh, bueno, como, como he dicho, pues ha hecho casi todo: la edición, la, la producción. 
eh, y por lo tanto, como ha invertido tanto tiempo, quiere que su película sea di distinta, ¿no? que, que destaque. Entonces eh, no, quiere mirar, eh, no quiere mirar películas parecidas eh, a las suyas, sino que le gusta ver cosas casi opuestas, ¿no? para, para, para variar. ¿sí? Eh, sabemos que como anteriormente has dicho has producido tu película, la has dirigido ¿crees que hoy en día es necesario producir y dirigir debido a la industria del cine que no hay no hay productores que, que no te dejan hacer lo que realmente quieras y te obligan a cambiar la idea a algunas productoras? Esta película, como he dicho, pues eh, tuvo que hacer lo posible él. Si estuviese todavía, si estuviese buscando financiación, todavía estaría él ahora viendo de productora en productora buscando dinero. Eh, como he dicho, partió de, 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 tuvo un pequeño presupuesto, así que tuvo que adaptarse, tiene que adaptarse y tiene que pensar tanto como director como productor. ¿no? Eh, al final dice que es importante hacer películas en su punto de vista que, di, que digan algo, que dicen algo, ¿no? que tienen algún tipo de mensaje y, a, y, a, y por lo tanto eh, es importante tomar riesgos ¿no? y si no se toman riesgos, ¿por qué estamos haciendo películas? Y de las cuestiones, eh, ¿cuál es cinco, cinco palabras para describir tu, tu film? Five words to describe your film. It's complicated. Five different words? Five different words. Five different words. Um, uh, sad. Triste. Um, uh, hopeful. Uh, 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 <laughs> First time anyone's ever asked me this. Uh, <laughs> or one more. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> three. Three. And uh, and uh, for me, I, I think the word is. Uh, It's not really an adjective, but interior. I think it's a very interior. Just, yeah, just everything is inside. And like even the film. The feeling. Yeah, yeah, everything is inside, and then everything. It also happens in other places. I wanted, I wanted to name the film interior.